Now um, we have uh, to ask Xavier Abbas again if he had time to make the conclusions of our debate. Xavier has been working in backstage, reflecting, thinking about uh, what uh, it is uh, been doing, showing, commenting in our in our debate. Xavier, can we have your opinion, your comments and conclusions about uh, our work this morning? Yes, of course. Thank you, Antonio. Greetings from the Basque Country University. I would like to say hello to Eugene, Madalena, and, to, uh, and the whole audience. I have attended with uh, interest this debate about the school of the future, and I take some notes about the views and the thoughts of the speakers, and I would like to share with you as a summary of this debate. If you don't mind, Antonio, I would like to copy and paste my notes in a pod, okay? Yes, Shabia, please do it. Yeah, uh, firstly, the, the first topic was the school of the future. Um, Norbert told us that technology is important for education. It allows us new forms of classroom collaboration, interactivity, access, multimodal, information, easy and immediate. The question is, or the challenge is, how to implement. Um, there is not only technology, we need to consider social media and other aspects. And also uh, these points about the future is today, is present. Teachers should be expert in this new technology. Institutions should uh, perform new policies and um, regulations for this new environment and also we have considered the newest students profile. They are multimodal and digital learners with digital learning cycles. The second topic was synchronous and asynchronous teaching and I take this, uh, this note. Be training is more effective. Okay. Uh, the yep. second topic, synchronous and as asynchronous teaching Yes, please. The India. main okay, the training is more effective and more sustainable. The third uh, topic was lifelong learning, formal and non-formal informal learning, and I take the next uh, notes. First, lifelong learning uh, is the solution that we, the society needs for the new skills we need to come back to the school, then uh, this is an opportunity to, to, to learn the new skills. The second point is, uh, sorry, um, the second is the students can be closer to other cultures. Third, cycles of the knowledge addressed by formal and informal learning. Four, universities and companies should offer lifelong learning. The last point was about the non-formal uh, training and the validation is a challenge and the credibility of the students should be uh, considered. Uh, finally, the last topics that Theo told us, I, I, I like to summarize with these words. First, education for all is an idea from the 17th century. Open education resource initiative uh, starts um, several years ago. There is a topic about the MOOC, if, um, there are a lot of issues that we should consider. There are many, very many ways. Uh, finally, um, the, the potential of the large scale dispersion of the open educational learning should be considered to the quality assurance. Antonio, that's all for me. Thank you very much, you see. It, uh, I think it was a very, a very interesting teamwork. I would appreciate that other colleagues that are still online that could like their cameras just for just our final uh, uh, goodbye. And uh, I have to thank you for all of you uh, for your effort to be synthetic. Uh, Stefan, sorry, uh, I, I, I
could not give you stage as I would like, but if you would like to make a final comment about our debate and how do you see the future, because you are in a higher position, because you are much near the, the North Pole, so it's higher than what we are. We are in a lower level. Can you comment? <laughs> and how yeah. can you see that? You can say like that, though. Uh, okay, I just do. I can see that my camera is jumping a little bit, so I just uh, close it like that. So, so yeah, I think this is a really interesting. So it's a lot of new <coughs> uh, challenges out there, and uh, I'm working, of course, with delivering services uh, uh, in this field, and uh, so uh, both to university and companies. And I think that, uh, as someone mentioned before that uh, we need to have the teacher with us so train the teacher and we have done a lot of uh, um, projects now with um, you can say refugee children and tutors in different languages with uh, Arabic and mathematics and Sumerian in English and things like that and to, to give that <coughs> possibilities for the teacher really to find a new model to how to um, learn and how to find new good learning uh, way I think that's uh, uh, really challenging challenge and uh, of course we can mix so it's not just to be online in the virtual classroom but we have the on-demand material have can be uh, combined the on-demand material with the uh, online uh, virtual classroom and things like that so it's, it's a lot of different things that we can do uh, to make the knowledge process uh, as best as possible so we of course are just in the beginning now I think. Thank you very much Stefan. I think that the last word sh should be deserved to Eugenia. She is the organizing of our conference. And please, Eugenia, uh, last words for our finishing. Okay. Be short, please. We are four minutes late. <laughs> In two hours, it's not too bad. Okay. Thank you very, very much for uh, you know, all participants of our roundtable debates in uh, um, remote mode and presence form and uh, for very interesting uh, presentation, uh, interesting topic and we invite you to participate, uh, participate in um, our next uh, conference and video conference, roundtable debate and um, uh, in December we'll be printing, uh, we'll printing monograph with uh, the best uh, um, articles, uh, participants of our conference, e and uh, um, every participants of our um, roundtable debates uh, will take um, this book, and we invite you for prepared uh, preparation publication for our conference materials and our monograph. The topic is very, very, very important, interesting, and that uh, discusses very necessary, very necessary. It discusses in um, uh, international uh, environment uh, between uh, colleagues from West uh, University and from East University, from Ukraine, Russia, Pol Poland, uh, Slovak Republic, Czech Republic, Austria, uh, Great Britain, uh, Spain, Portugal, and other countries. It's very, very interesting. Uh, and uh, thank you very much, first of all, Professor Antonio Dos Reis, for perfect, uh, great work and uh, very competent c conducting this uh, video conference, roundtable debates. And uh, um, the let best me, best uh, best let be, yes, <laughs> be the best uh, the moderator. And uh, let me uh, pass uh, you again great uh, congratulations, great wishes. Greetings from our auditorium. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you all in distance uh, conference, and uh, we will be together. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs>